because that's going to be a hard act to follow. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the best that was great. Yeah. That was All right. right, who's brave enough to follow Pam? I thought Mike would step up. Come on up here, Mike. Mike has been waiting patiently. Mike is prepared, as I knew he would be. I'm giving my prizes, but not, unlike you. You didn't give one to the I didn't have a prize. I got some prizes. Ah. <laughs> I will stand aside. <laughs> Okay, I'm Yes, we're making reservations. <laughs> I'm Miss Mike, and this is Mike too. <laughs> These jokes are not necessarily doctrine and doctrine correct, they just make you laugh. Proverbs 17:22 says, "Laughter is medicine for the soul." So I'll tell a riddle and give you prizes for your answers or my correct answers. The first prize is a baseball. Okay. Oh, <laughs> tell me all the times that baseball is mentioned in the Bible. I'll give you this baseball. Eve took first, Adam took second, then God threw them both out. Cain struck out Abel. Goliath was put out by David. The prodigal son came home. Gideon rattled the pitchers in Judges chapter 7. So I'll keep this. My next prize is... <laughs> I'll give away coffee, but the first person that can tell me which book of the Bible mentions who should make the coffee in the morning, the husband Hebrew. or the wife? Hebrews. Linda said it first. Oh, give me no, 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 no. Hebrews. No. I'll settle the argument. You, 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 Does you, you, the husband Hebrews. or wife make the coffee? Hebrews. The Bible says Hebrews. Hebrews. Uh, so who said it first? Who said it first? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me take it and Hebrews doesn't make the coffee. He brews. James is the one who brews, right? Oh, okay. I remember the a comment there. He brews. James. He who brews. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Okay. Okay. Right. Keep it moving. Right. Right. As a calendar, if you can tell me how many seconds there are in a year, you can have this calendar. How many seconds are in a year? Linda, what did you say? 12. 12. January 2nd, February 2nd, March 2nd. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Linda gets two prizes tonight. Oh, wow. You're on the ball. My next prize is a horse calendar. What was the name of Isaiah's horse? Bible. 
I gave you a hint with Noah. It's uh, Arkansas. Noah looked out as Arkansas. Uh, <laughs> who's the greatest female financier in the Bible? Pharaoh's daughter, she went down to the bank of the Nile and drew out a little prophet named Moses. Which area of the Bible is especially wealthy? Around the Jordan River, because the banks are always overflowing. Okay, she's Googling, the, she's trying to Google it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some leftover Halloween candy, a Butterfinger candy bar, if you can tell me where cannibals are mentioned in the Bible. <laughs> Cannibals. Two Kings eight one. Two Kings. Chapter eight verse one. Two Kings eight one. Two Kings eight one. How about a baby Ruth candy bar? Or what kind of man was Boaz before he married Ruth? Ruthless. 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 You tell. You know that's right. I'm gonna give an airplane. Ooh. Whoever can tell me. Who was the only person that flew an airplane in the Bible? Pontius the pilot? Oh. <laughs> Pontius the pilot? <laughs> okay. My next prize is one of Dan Berg's shoes. You can, you can win one of Dan Berg's shoes. <laughs> It's a fine paperweight. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the shortest person in the Bible? Shorter than Zacchaeus and smaller than Nehemiah. Maya. Who is only Nehemiah? Oh, it's not The book of Job mentions a guy named Shuhai. Shuhai. Oh, does he look blue height? Then I'll give you Dan Burke's other shoe. Oh. If you can tell me, what did one shoe say to the other? What did one shoe say to the other shoe? Uh, you got no soul. I can't heal you. I can't save your soul. Only Jesus can. What did the right shoe say to the left shoe? You must be soulmates. What did, what did one door say to the other door? You're adorable. Well, speaking of doors, Revelation 3.20 says that Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. If you haven't already, I encourage you to let him in. Thank you. And you went in. That none. Yes. <laughs> that, that's got to get into it. And what's your prize for that answer? None. <laughs> you get a father. You get a father. The, can, the candy bar that never got eaten. Okay, I see a trumpet. I see a guitar. Anybody else coming up? That I don't see. Okay, Dan and Paul, who's going to duke it out for them? 